This time we're going to do two words, star and galaxy. Star is a very simple word in that there's not a lot of options. Well, first we'll look at the first we'll look at the simplest possible combinations. And to start off with star, as we know, this is the ST combination. The T can also be a reverse curve. It doesn't always have to be a line. So ST can be this or ST can be this. Both are acceptable. And of course, the the more smooth S version is usually used. So star would usually be written like so: S T A R or you can put the R off of there. That, that looks better. So you can actually reduce star to a single stroke, like so. S-T-A-R. And now we can also consider using the other options for the T, like we could do this T, and then maybe connect the A like so. There's, there's some options out there, but I like this version. This version is definitely the cleanest and the nicest. And now if we try to make star look like a star, that's hard, because when we deal with stars, when we, in the standard sense of the word, or to most people, they're, they're points. Maybe they're these kind of this shape, but that's going to be hard to make. So we could try using the ST in a circle, maybe, and then draw a horizon of some kind. The other thing we can do that we haven't covered yet is the A, the with the R, the R can be built into the A's bar, like so, horizontally. So we could go like so. That's not bad if we kind of make that circular. We could also try wrapping the A around the S, ST like so. Or come back for the R like so. Either way, either way, it's, it's hard because you, you, it's hard to come all the way around. If we had a letter like O or E, we might be able to make a very nice star. Um, the one other thing we could consider doing is trying to draw something... Sorry, I'm bad at drawing stars apparently something this shape. So if we started here, we could go S, T, A, R. We're still missing a corner of our stars, so let's try that again and see if we can't fit something into that shape. S, T, A, R. That kind of fits. It's, it's a little harder to read, but it's still there and it's still legible, so if we try to do that, It doesn't, it's hard to do without the outline to, the, to to build it into, and once the outline's gone, I don't think it's going to look like that shape anymore. But you, you get the idea. Be creative, see what you can come up with. Galaxy, now this one's probably going to be a lot more fun. It's got some interesting letters in it, and it's a little longer. So, we'll start off with the G. Now, as most people know, you can do a G combination like so, but I, I never like to use this G at the beginning, unless it's for, purely for aesthetic reasons, because you can save a whole stroke by turning the curl. The curl for a G can be written in any direction, even this direction, which then leads into there, and you've got a GA simply by drawing the Arabic number 2. So, GA, L, A, X, Y. Now, let's look at the double combination. We've got quite a few we can work with here. So, if this is A and this is L, we can also go AL and then connect the word off of there or there. So, that's one option. So, we can use the AL. What else do we have? Well, we could draw the X onto the, the, the A line and then connect the Y like so drawing going off in any direction, or we connect the Y off of any one of these four points. These ones would be best. The other thing we can do is when we draw the word line down, we don't have to go past the X, and we can also use these points for Ys. So there's a whole bunch of different permutations available with that X, Y. X's and L's tend to give a lot of options. So if we put all the new combinations we've learned together, we have G, A, L, A, X, and then we should have stops early and draw a Y maybe like that. That looks kind of even. Or we could just draw the Y off of here or here as we know. There's so many options. So that's looking okay. But now suppose we want to make this look like a galaxy as we usually do with these script. Make it logo graphic. Well, how can we do that with this? This is pretty hard. If Again, if we had O or E in the word, it would be easy because we've got circles and galaxies tend to be circular disk shaped. So we could consider trying to build a, a long disky shape, but I don't think that would be very recognizable um, I think our best chance is a spiral type of shape of some form, as that's the most common uh, visual representation of a galaxy. So, let's see what we can do here. I'd say our best bet is to grab these sides and try to pull them around and see if we can't turn it round first. Let's see how that looks. So, the center of our galaxy is actually going to be our G curve. And then if we pull it around, G, A, L... No, I didn't come... didn't curl enough. Now it's going to look like a a semicircle. I'm gonna have to draw a little lower on the page. G A L A 
And we put the X here, maybe put the Y there. Okay, that's starting to look like a galaxy. I kind of see these swirl effects. They look more like kind of horns, but I'm liking it. I'm very, very much liking it for representing galaxy. The thing I'm thinking here is, first of all, we've got another connection we could use, the, the XY connection. Now, as you know, you could put an X inside of a Y like so, and that's Y, X. But if we need X, Y, you can draw the X over top like so, extending out of the Y, and that makes it X, Y. So, we could draw the X into the Y like so and not need that there. The other thing I'm thinking we could do is we could pull this all the way around to here and then have the tail create one more loop for us, maybe, or one more swirl. So let's give that a shot. That should be sharper. Try that again. And then... Maybe like so. You'll have to play with the ratios and the proportions. I'm thi what I was initially thinking with this XY combination is it almost looks like maybe that could be you are here. Because we're looking at a, a galaxy and, you know, you're kind of on the outer tail. If we put it here, too, that might look better, actually. You're here, I'm not sure. But the circle indicates kind of a planet. So the X on the spot creates this visual thing. Maybe this would be where Earth is in the galaxy. Who knows? But that is not bad. We'll stick with that one for now. Galaxy.